Hi, this is Nicole Windham and this is part 2 of email marketing. In this video, we are going to focus on how to grow a mailing list for your email campaigns. First of all, email marketing receives a bad rap in general. But when done right and with the consent of your subscribers, email is a powerful tool that can produce real value for both the sender and recipient. Sending email campaigns doesn't start with sending emails to a random pool of people. It starts much earlier with defining who should be on that list and what the main goal is for sending these email campaigns. So you might want to think about these general questions before you set up the subscription form on your website. Who are you sending these emails to? Is it a current client list? People who sign up on the website? Or customers who purchase from the site? Or all of them? What is the purpose for sending these emails? It could be to increase sales, encouraging people to buy for the first time, or making readers repeat buyers. More specific goal examples can be anywhere from generating at least $400 in sales directly from newsletter subscribers within the first week of each email being sent, to re-establish direct contact with five previous clients, or something simple like 40% of subscribers who opened the email. How often would you be sending emails? Determine the frequency of how often you want to send out emails. Will you be sending the newsletter out once a month, once every quarter, or once every year? How can I get my users to opt in? With people overwhelmed by email or considering email, especially HTML emails, as spam, how do you get visitors to your website to sign up for your email newsletter? Remember, readers are tuned to what's in it for me. The battle is halfway won with compelling value and content. The other half is making them notice and opt in. Start with a prominent and visible sign up. Offer direct sign up from the home page or footer. Highlight benefits and frequency and describe what users will get and how often. Sites sometimes offer incentives. Common incentives are discounts and freebies. Gain trust. Promise not to sell, spam or share. Link to the privacy policy and make it easy to opt out and do so. On the other hand, make it easy to opt in. Ask only what is really needed. Name and email address is a common thing to ask for, but often only the email address is sufficient. Now I'm going to show you how to add a newsletter sign up form to your BC site. In a few simple steps, you'll be able to create a newsletter sign up form for your BC site. You can find everything that is email marketing related in the left side panel here under email marketing. Click on email marketing and mailing lists. Add a new mailing list. Enter a name and click save. You as the creator will be automatically opted into that list. Now go to actions, add subscribe box to a web page and choose a previously set up page on your BC site. Use the one click insert option up, uh, up here and click insert subscription box for this campaign. Now you can either click on save or save and publish. And you can click on the uh, pop up box here, click to preview your new page. And this is how you create a simple newsletter sign up page. If you want to add the newsletter subscription box to a template, you can also go under actions, click on get subscribe box HTML code and copy everything that you see in here into your template. The next step is about how to add a subscription option to any web form on BC. Once you have a new mailing list created, it will be available for you to add the subscription option to any other web form on BC. Go to Site Manager, click on Web Forms, and for example choose the Contact Us form. Navigate to Lists, and then click on the lists, or all of them, that you want to add to this Contact Us form. The option will show up here. So now the user can decide whether to join the list or just simply to skip that step. Other than having people sign up on your website directly through the subscription box, you can also import an existing client list to your mailing list. Go to Email Marketing and Mailing Lists 
and either create a new mailing list or choose an existing mailing list to import your current client list to. Click on Import Recipients and download the import template. The import template is an Excel file. Now go to Sheet 1 and copy the column's email address to last name over to New Document and paste those example columns in here. You can also get rid of the title column if you don't need it. Now from here you can enter the email address, first name and last name for your current client list. And once you're done, click on File, Save As, and choose the uh, comma delimited option here. It's a uh, CSV file. Save the file, for example, call it client list on your computer. Now back in BC, open the file and click on import. Without changing the screen here, it will give you either an error or success dialog pop-up that will confirm the import of your current client list. You can double check the subscribers for your mailing list under subscribers and you see here that I was automatically added to this list as the creator and also my new client contacts have been added to this list. By importing you automatically bypass the double opt-in process. Sometimes you want to import a large number of subscribers at once. You can request Business Catalyst to set the master opt-in on your site so all existing customers are opted into your marketing emails. If you wish so, send a support ticket to Business Catalyst to have them turn on the master opt-in option for your website and ask them to opt in your entire database at the same time. Now when I talk about opt-in, you can see the opt-in status for each subscriber on your list. Readers who were imported or manually added will be automatically receiving emails. That means they are automatically opted in. Readers who subscribe via the subscription box or the option to subscribe to your newsletter on any other web form, will have to confirm their subscription by clicking on the link in the newsletter confirmation email before they will be able to receive your email campaigns. You can bypass this double opt-in process by adding a specific extension to the form action for your newsletter subscription form. In this case, you would go to the page you just inserted the subscription form to, and switch over to HTML view and onto this string here for the action you will have to add amp opt-in equals true in order for you to bypass the double opt-in process. Other available customization options are to customize the email notifications and system pages. In the same manner that I just showed you how to bypass the double opt-in process, you can disable the autoresponder emails for both the subscription box and any other web form by adding the extension AMP SAR equals false to the form action. Under Site Manager and System Emails, you can customize the content for the double opt-in email if you choose to keep that by clicking under Emails onto Double Opt-in Email and change the content in here. Under Site Manager and System Pages, you can customize the Subscription Confirmation Request page, the Subscription Confirm page, the Unsubscribe Confirmation page, and the Unsubscribe Confirm page. For example, when you click on the Subscription Confirmation Request page, you see a tag in here that says tag underscore confirmation underscore form comma confirm. Confirm is actually text that you can customize to your liking. So if you want to change that to confirm your subscription or thank you for uh, confirming your subscription, you can certainly do so when you change the word confirm here. Another customization option you can achieve with email campaigns is to redirect to another page after the subscription. And as with bypassing the double opt-in process and disabling the autoresponder emails, you will need to add an extension to the action string in the subscription HTML code. 
So on the pages, find your newsletter subscription, switch over to HTML, and add AMP page ID equals, and then the URI of your new page. For example, thank you dot html. Remember everything that you change will need to be updated by clicking on update or you can either save a draft as a working copy to go back to an unpublished version of this page later. Now you might ask yourself how do readers unsubscribe from your list or from any communication from you. The tag underscore unsubscribe is a hyperlink to enable recipients to opt out of all future newsletters. This tag is mandatory. You can customize the link text that tag renders using this method. Tag underscore unsubscribe, comma, and then add your custom text. If the campaign doesn't have that tag included, it will be automatically added by the system on the bottom of the email. As an alternative, you can also include the tag unsubscribe list, which is a hyperlink to enable recipients to unsubscribe from the list associated with this campaign. This customer will continue to receive other newsletters. You can also customize the link tags that tag renders using this method, tag unsubscribe list, comma, and then your custom text.